Welcome to the AI Show, Auckland's monthly AI event. This presentation features Dhruv Ohri from Duco Consultancy and Rishabh Kapoor, the CEO of Impressions Real Estate. They showcase the Oxybot AI platform and the practical solution it provided Impressions Real Estate. We were impressed by this multilingual application to solve as practical business problem. Oxybot, uh, which is a generative AI framework that we at Duco Consultancy have built uh, last year, um, tailored for business efficiency and simplifying processes. So just a bit about myself. Um, I am the principal engineer for Oxybot. We developed this product last year. Um, and I guess in the short time between last year and now, I've worked in a lot of different service lines and areas such as Microsoft, Oracle, Data Enterprise Solutions. And across all of those different projects, uh, you know, in the retail and public sector, a very common sort of um, you know, issue was how we can simplify business processes. Um, and that's where we came up with Oxybot and leveraging the power of generative AI to be more than just a question answer and more, you know, getting data analytics, um, you know, getting questions on your data, you know, using an AI instead of scraping through hundreds or thousands of documents or records in a database. Uh, and I'd also like to invite up Rishabh Kapoor. Uh, he is the CEO of Impression Real Estate. And I'll let him introduce himself as well. Thank you. Um, my name is Rishabh. Obviously, as you can see, there's a big photo up there. Me. Um, yeah. So, but, uh, Dhruv and I kind of collaborated on this project where we kind of used his design bot, uh, implemented it on, it on our website, brand new website, which also was designed by Duco. Yeah. Um, and we kind of came up with, uh, with something that, that helps us connect better with our customers, helps us solve our problems that we might need a human resource to solve, and also helps us uh, providing a more human-like experience while you interact with technology coming up with customer service and other things. Um, I will try and uh, we can talk a little bit more about as, yeah. as we proceed. But yeah. yeah, awesome. Um, a little bit, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we do. All right, awesome. Uh, so at, at Duco, as I mentioned, you know, one of the key things that we sort of work um, in consulting is simplifying business processes and streamlining those operations. And so you know, with that in mind, we came up with Oxybot. And it's aimed at supporting businesses to you know, um, help them with their day-to-day -day operations and tasks. You know, it, can, it continuously adapts and improves to changing demands. You know, in, one, it's, in one use case, it can be a customer support agent. In another, it can be an HR assistant. Uh, in a third incident, it can be a data analyst um, providing graphs and uh, anal you know, answers to your raw, unstructured, or structured data as well. Um, and being generative AI, you know, one of the greatest things about this framework is that you can ask it those questions in like a you know, hundred or a thousand different ways, and it will still give you those same answers that you're looking for. So it's like speaking to a human. You know, it's like uh, having a graduate working with you, except you know, they won't be leaving your company for an overseas experience. <laughs> you know? um, so, you know, Oxybot, you know, what, what we, our use case with impressions is, you know, as Rishabh mentioned, it's a chatbot on their website. So and it's a customer support agent, you know, that's able to answer questions about uh, their available properties, um, their listings, um, you know, and even recommending certain apartments, you know, based on a user's budget. So, you know, with that also, you know, we're able to train and uh, the AI to be, you know, have a more friendly tone, be more approachable to customers. And it's also has, it also um, is capable of speaking in more than 52 different languages. So if you ask it a question in Chinese or Mori um, or even um, in French or Italian, you know, it'll be able to respond back to you in those languages itself. So it makes it a more um, globally accessible, uh, especially to a lot of um, people who are in New Zealand or outside of New Zealand and they're not comfortable with English. So yeah, as I mentioned, it's a continuously imp um, improving and evolving product, um, and it's a software as a solution. Um, and some of the sort of key or core features behind it is that we have these custom search engines uh, as part of Oxybot. So as you all know, with ChatGPT, it has the ability to, you know, when you ask it questions, it can go on the internet and find answers for you. Uh, but for us, we don't want that sort of feature uh, because we want the information that our AI gives to be more grounded and relevant towards the business. You know, if we're asking 
our bought on impressions about available properties, we don't want it to recommend properties from Bailey's or Gray White. Um, Gray White. Uh, that'll be a bit awkward. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, you have to just make sure they don't see the video. Uh, so, and, and then, and so, so we can restrict the sort of parameters of the AI to only be looking at the website um, from impressions or their own database. So essentially, whenever you're asking the AI a question, it's going to do a Google search restricted to impressions website. Um, so, and all they have to do is just update their website with more properties and you know, whether it's available or not, the pricing. And then that information is fed in real time to the AI. So you don't have to do any behind the scenes work to have your data in some database or on the website and then also put it into the AI. You know, it's all sort of automated um, and you have like one source of truth, one, one area. Um, another thing you know they can do as well is like charting and visualizations. So what we mean by that is, um, you know, if you, you know, in terms of enterprise solutions, we, you know, we can connect Oxybot to ERP systems like Dynamics 365, Oracle Fusion, um, and even MDM solutions like Stevo Systems. So you can ask it questions like, you know, what's the status of my purchase order? Um, you know, what is the sort of total revenue over the last year um, according to my data? And it will be able to go into those systems um, and be able to give you those answers, not only in text, but it'll actually say, do you want to visualize your data? Do you want a graph? And you say yes, and then the AI builds a graph for you. So that's a nice quick way of um, you know, getting some graphs or data for your last minute presentation. Um, and of course, multiple different data sources uh, that we can integrate with and advanced natural language processing that sort of generative AI comes with. You know, that meaning, um, you know, you can speak to it however you want. You can make grammatical errors, spelling mistakes. It doesn't really matter. The AI, the AI won't be telling you to speak to a live agent. Uh, and then, yeah, so multilingual support, as I mentioned, um, you know, machine learning, all of that other great stuff. And in terms of security, you know, um, all of our uh, data is you know, stored in secure servers on Azure. So if anything bad happens, we deflect to Microsoft. Um, no, that's a, just a joke. That's a joke. Um, <laughs> so, uh, and, but I think the most important thing about security and your data is that you as a user or as a client get to control that data. You know, you don't have to worry that, oh, you know, my AI has access to this information. It's, it might leak it and it's confidential. No, you only give the data that you want to give it. And if the AI has some data you don't want it to have, you just take it away. It won't be able to answer on those things. Yeah. Um, and that's just all standard stuff. So now I'll hand it over to uh, to to Rishabh, uh, to speak more about um, impressions and what we've done, you know, with Oxybot on impressions. Thank you. Wow, that's... By the way, he prepared all the slides for me, so he made it easier. Yeah. Uh, using his Oxybot, that's how we do it. Yeah. So this is not him spending hours. Back no, no. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you, Dhruv. Uh, it's it's really good to speak about uh, the Oxybot in in in. Uh, in in conjunction with what we do and how it helped us as a business and what was the idea behind implementing such a technology on our website and using technology to, as I said, again, making the experience that we have with our customers even better and better. And that, that's how we got to the idea of, okay, let's do something which is different. Obviously, everyone's wanting to jump on technology, but that was never uh, our, um, I would say, motivation to get on technology. Our idea was that, yes, we want to use technology, but not just to copy paste it on our website, but we want it to be more, um, uh, like a technical term these guys yeah. use, UI, and you guys talk about it. So it was about having a very easy UI, which is having uh, a simplified version of uh, technology which sounds, talks, and behaves like a human. And that was our biggest challenge, and that, that was the challenge that I had for Group when he gave me the first draft. I said, it's really good, but it doesn't say hello to me, and which is something really important for yeah. us as a business, because we are a customer service business. If my bot is not saying hello, there's a problem. So that's what we work with. And, and now if you interact with our bot and ask, hey, how's the day going? It will tell you how, how the day is. Um, obviously, it doesn't have mood sync like we do. So yeah. Usually give you a positive response. Uh, you can but, try to find that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I'll some. <laughs> exactly. Friday, 5 p.m. question. I'm not really excuse. <laughs> uh, yeah. but, but, but those were, those were our motivations behind uh, implementing this bot. Those were uh, uh, the challenges that we, that we had to prove and the team. And I said, how can we make this simple? How can we make it human-like? How does it help us? 
uh, well, we, we manage about a thousand odd properties all around New, uh, all around Auckland, not New Zealand yet. Uh, but we most of our business is located in the CBD. That means we get a lot of international people coming and living in our properties. Uh, properties we get a lot of uh, foreign students, uh, working people, and mo most of these people try to search for properties when they are in their respective countries. And some of them do struggle with uh, you know the English barrier, and that's that's why that multilingual. Uh, AI powered, first of its kind, by the way, in the New Zealand real estate industry, and I can say that with confidence now. Um, mm -hmm. I asked, actually, I asked uh, your board to research and tell me if that is true, and it said yes. So, <laughs> 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 I can take it on that was yeah. a customer structure. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Definitely no, not but, biased. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Not biased. <laughs> but but, but the, the idea was that it has to serve a wider purpose than just using technology. Uh, and I think that's, that's helped us immensely. Uh, Marcia, the bot, which we like to call her, is actually a real person. If you do walk into a, a store uh, at 430 Queen Street, you can see Marcia in person. Uh, but but the, yeah, that's Marcia, by the way. She's our longest uh, serving team member, and she's a client relationship manager. So again, the goal for us was to replicate Marcia on the website. And that's that's the challenge that was given to prove, and I think the team delivered really well. Uh, we would love for you to interact with our bot. And give us feedback and let us know how, how we can improve. Uh, and I think Proof uh, collects all that data and works it in secret. So we get the results. That's a, that's a really cool thing. Um, yeah. But if you can see, uh, this is, this is I think, one of the first versions of how it can answer your questions. Like, can you give me a list of two-bedroom apartments? Yeah, sure. Um, and like Bruce said, it is tailored to us. And that is one thing that we like to do as a brand at Impression is we're not uh, once we are not one solution for all company, we try to give you tailored solution as solutions as much as possible. If you have something uh, uh, unique, we will tailor our plans or service for you. And that's the same thing that uh, the Oxybot also does for us uh, in terms of Marcia the bot. It, 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 it tailors our needs and your needs together and gives you solution. Uh, and that's the really cool part about it. Um, uh, just one yeah. more thing I do want yeah. to talk about. Drew and I have been talking for a few days about the new upgrade that's coming to our uh, website and the bot. And that's a really cool thing because I keep throwing challenges, I love throwing challenges at it uh, to improve the technology. Uh, and one of the things we spoke about was um, uh, a wider, uh, how can we also answer questions like, hey, where's the nearest coffee shop in my apartment? Because we have a lot, a lot of foreign people coming to the country or coming there for the first time who do not know where to go. Um, and Marcia has been answering those questions for people who walk into our office and say, hey, look, I've just moved into your property. Can you tell me where I can find the best restaurants or where's the nearest post office or the cinema or whatever, or a pub? Uh, and she happily answers those questions. And that's the new upgrade that we're trying to bring into our board is if our tenants want to go and ask, get, a, get an answer to where the nearest stuff is to their uh, uh, property, uh, that, that answer capability is available. Um, and I think one of the other cool stuff that we were talking about um, adding to our uh, bot is if it can also um, kind of bring in a lot of information from other websites and start answering questions that people might need about tenancies and about um, laws around the tenancies and about property management and other, other stuff that will apply to it as well. So a lot of, it has, it has uh, kind of really uh, helped us. It has really helped our customer base, and we we obviously keep listening to what people have to say about the bot. But we do ask people, hey, tell us what you're doing. And uh, so far, it's been fun stuff. And just we've had some weird questions as well. Why can't the bot tell me uh, when I'll get my bond back? <laughs> we are working on that. It is part of our next uh, uh, the tour. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no. Actually, people did ask my uh, my. I've spilled coffee on my. Uh, so I read mine on my carpet, what do I do? Uh, and actually politely told them to connect with your property manager. They've got a couple of my team members in there. <laughs> and they were ready to answer that question for them. But we are trying to get to a point where these questions can um, be answered by the board. But one thing I, I do want to talk about and say is, look, for us, the goal was not to remove uh, human resource from our operations. For us, we're all about, uh, Global talks about people. We are a diverse team of people looking out for a diverse team of customers. And our bot is trying to help us with that. And uh, technology for us is complementing uh, people to do better and serve better, and not about taking people away from their business. That's just my uh, take on AI.
Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Um, so we're going uh, we're gonna to invite everyone to come back. Uh, Julian's here as well. is going to be speaking here. So we're going to invite everyone to come back and, and, and have a panel and do some Q&A afterwards. But I think there's a couple of things that I find really impressive with this. And one is translation, right? The, yeah. the ability to be able to deliver um, all of that knowledge and that customer experience in multilingual. I think that the whole generative AI space has really um, changed the game with, with yeah, that side of things. Definitely. Um, and, and I really love the extension, right? You've built the platform and now you're thinking about, okay, people are using it mm -hmm. and they're gonna start asking all sorts of other questions as they mm -hmm. extend their customer experience with them, right? It's not just once they get into the apartment or the, the, the property that that relationship stops. And so you're thinking about the, the questions that they're gonna be asking next and how you keep that conversation going. Uh, I always wonder about uh, when Marcia uh, decides to leave. Uh, you know, <laughs> what happens? Maybe <laughs> sign the papers. But but really great use case and a really great example of, of solving some practical problems. So thanks very much, guys. Yeah. Appreciate Thank it. you. Right.